here we are entering into the Triduum, the holiest days of the year. And on Holy Thursday, we especially focus on the fifth mystery of light, and that is the institution of the Most Holy Eucharist. Well, what's interesting is that the Holy Eucharist was always the litmus test for true discipleship to Jesus. Because when was the very first time that it mentioned that Judas would be the betrayer? It was right after Jesus announced the Eucharist. And at the very end of the uh, John 6, it mentions those words, and Judas, um, and he knew who his betrayer was, Judas Iscariot. Um, what's also interesting, too, is in verse 66 of John 6, interesting enough, is where the, uh, it said, many who heard Jesus, his teaching on the Eucharist, how they left him. It was the Eucharist that was the litmus test for discipleship. And so, that's something I want to uh, put out there on this Holy Thursday because when we have the Mass of the Lord's Supper and then we have the procession of the Blessed Sacrament into a, a separate chapel to make sure that we spend time in adoration. You know, after the, Jesus institutes the Eucharist, he's going to ask his uh, disciples to watch and pray for one hour. And so let us uh, increase our devotion to Jesus in the Holy Eucharist by making that hour. Uh, it was the hour that made Fulton Sheen's day. And really what he said was really behind the, all of his power in converting some of the most hardened hearts, the most difficult of souls. So let this be something that we reinvigorate in ourselves, is to make this hour of prayer with Jesus, something that we will revisit a little bit later when I have a separate reflection just on this evening. Um, so. The Eucharist was one of the, the columns that shot out of the sea in Don Bosco's vision, where he saw the church entering extremely turbulent times and how it was only uh, when the church would attach itself by you know, chaining itself to the column of the Eucharist and then a column to Mary, that it was able to survive this great battle against it. So let us imitate that, let us chain ourselves to the Holy Eucharist, and let it begin in a special way this evening by making that hour, the hour that made Sheen's day, and it certainly be the hour that gives us the strength to, especially in turbulent times, to draw close to Jesus and to trust in Him. The Eucharist is where we receive the fullness, the fullness of Christ, body, blood, soul, and divinity. Lord, give us that faith, the faith of a true disciple who draws close to you in the Holy Eucharist.